everything in life has a purpose. My tent's no exception. The teepee and the blue top tent, while seemingly useless, well, not for much longer. Today, that will change. Today will be a day of digging. Digging in here. I don't think I'm going to use an aircon. Maybe. I don't think I've got any aircons left to use. If I do, I'll just use that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to dig up the ground, so fingers crossed there's no big roots in the way. Because as you know, that in the past has been an issue and is the reason I had to turn to the air comms last time. So, without any further ado, let's go to the air con cult and see if there's any actual air cons left. Yeah, there is no air cons here at all. There's there's none left. But I did realize over in the encampment, I actually do have a spare one that I don't really need. Also, seriously, this gives me the creeps. This is like weird. I did I create this or not? I can't remember. Can someone like rewatch the series for me, please? The season one one, I mean. Okay, just wanted to take this quick second to talk about the different vibe this area gives me compared to the season one encampment. I really actually like it. This whole like little pine foresty area. It's got like a completely different vibe to it and it's the whole reason I came over here in the first place in season one to try and make a second encampment here which as we know never ended up working out which then became the aircon cult and just kind of forgotten about. So it's been cool to kind of repurpose it in the season two area and finally give it a bit more of a use. It also just has a different vibe that I really love and like You've got the area over there, which, um, you know, it's pretty similar to that first season area, just a little bit more dense. But then you have this area next to it, which is just thick pine forest, and I love it for that, and I love the different vibes it gives off. So it's been cool to kind of spend a bit of time in this other area, and be in a bit of a different environment for a bit. It's been re quite refreshing and quite fun just setting up this final new tent in the pine frosty area and just to mess around in here a bit more it's been a lot of good fun and i'd if you, if you guys would love to see it as well i'd love to come and do a little spin-off um solo spin-off in this pine forest area like we did with the ferns and the one with beautiful partner and creek life so um, i think it'd be fun to do a short little spin-off in here like fully in the deep of this pine forest and just see what we can do for like three episodes or something I figured this little aircon here is perfect for what I want to do. So we're going to put this up here. I'm just going to take this. This isn't really needed in that spot. So this is perfect for our, I guess, third little garden. Bit of a different design from the area I'm in right now, but it's a bit of fun. Right, here's our brand new garden for the most part. Now, of course, like any of the gardens down here, need some dirt this whole like second encampment has mostly just been gardens because that's what works and honestly i'm cool with that let's get some dirt in here and then plant some more seeds not too sure what i'm going to plant yet but we'll have a little look through and figure it out also the tomatoes they're growing pretty well as well so that's great dirt time All right, it's time to go get some dirt. Now, I'm not gonna show it. I'm just gonna quickly go grab it, because let's be honest, it's boring and it's not like I'm gonna off camera get an excavator and military grade helicopter and some Indians to go shovel this dirt. So, we're just gonna get the dirt. I'm, it's not like I'm gonna hack it into existence. I'm just gonna dig it up and put it here. And then I'll have dirt. And then we can finally make our garden. 
All right, so I am going to be growing cabbage in this new garden. So I've got the seeds right here. And I'm only going to be doing cabbage in this one. Don't want to be using any more seeds because I'm not too quite sure how they're going to grow yet, if they're even going to survive down here. So we're going to work with what um, we can, see what we can do, and yeah, try and grow ourselves some cabbage down here. So let's get these planted. Mm, make some little holes for it. I should be far enough spread. Pop some in there. That's a bit too much. Pop some in there. And pop some in there. Okay. A little bit too many seeds than I would have liked there because they're very small. But overall it should get the job done. So we'll just cover those up. Alright. Now we just need to water it. Alright, it's looking nice and watered. Since it's new soil, it's going to need a big soak. Right, we'll let that sink in a little bit. Alright, round two. Alright, should do it. Now before we get to the teepee, there is a bit of work I want to do in this little area here involving these. I'm thinking of just using them as a little border around the area just to kind of make it a little bit more tidy, a little bit neater. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's just pile them all right here. I've got a few more um, with the rest in the pile behind the camera. So we'll get back to those. And they should just make a nice little border around this area. Alright, it's now time to add this border. Hopefully we've got enough. A little bit harder to get this one in. Just gonna jump some of that dirt back. That should do it. This already just neatens up this area a whole lot more, in my opinion. Just makes it look a little bit smoother. And I'll, I can already imagine a pathway in future looping around to the tent over there. We'll connect all this up. Alright, so now it's time to get on to our final little upgrade thing the TP. And guess what? It's already done. This is it. This is the teepee's purpose for beautiful partner to sit down here. So, um, yeah, the teepee has purpose now. This is... And I've got cordial. This is the bulk of it. Cordial and sitting and yeah. afternoon chill. So, yeah, teepee's got a purpose too. Your old beautiful partner did build most of the teepee, so it's only fair beautiful partner gets ownership of the teepee. Not that I was going to use it anyway. Anyways, on to Jeffrey. Alright, it's that time again. We're right at the end of the episode, so we'll do our last little thing before we finish things off, and that's hacking away at Jeffrey. Now, this definitely felt like a lot quicker episode, honestly, even though it's been like about an hour and a half I've been filming. It feels like only about 5-10 minutes have gone by, and probably quicker for you guys too, and I guess, yeah, the episodes are getting a little bit quicker, and it's because we are nearing the end. This project is well on its way to completion now. I've got all the structures up that I'm wanting to do. So from here on out, it's basically just kind of doing small things like we did with the garden today just with the barrier, just making it feel a little more complete by adding pathways and just small little things. And um, of course, documenting how our garden goes. And that's going to be what the rest of this series is now, and of course, trying to free Jeffrey here. But yeah, we are, I guess you could say, in the end game now. We've nearly finished this encampment, and it's been a fun little, I guess, side quest from the main encampment, and I can't wait to get back full time to the main encampment. Even though I did say I was gonna finish that off, but um, look, new ideas come. I just guess needed a bit of a break, so um, 
yeah, it's been good to do a little something else. So, um, definitely looking forward to finishing this project up and seeing how the garden goes and, of course, heading back to the other one. And, of course, if you do want to see that pine forest spin-off thing, just let me know. Um, because, yeah, I, um, would love to do it. I already have a good place in mind. But anyways, Jeffrey time. Good progress has been made, um, but there's still a bit to go. So, the adventure isn't quite over yet. That I'm sure of. We've still got a bit to do before we can call things done. But, um, here's for 10 episodes in the series. Thank you guys for watching. And so, I set off back for my encampment, ready to start thinking of the next project. Because the work was far from done.